from Chris 6 News. This is the Buck Days Navy Army Night Parade, brought to you on Chris 6 by Navy Army Community Credit Union, and also by Radiology and Associates, and your welcome dental. Now your hosts, from Chris 6 News, Katya Uriarte, Pat Simon, and Stephanie Lauber. Good evening, everyone. Yes. Happy Buck Days to you. Welcome to the 84th annual Buck Days Navy Army Night Parade. Katy Uriarte with Chris 6 News, as well as my wonderful partner, Pat Simon, who's, this is your first year of the parade. I am loving it already, and we already had like Apollo towing that, that, right, that right, led off right, the parade yes. so far. So we're going to bring you the sights and the sounds of this time-honored tradition here in the coastal bend, Katya. It's my first to host with you. It's my first to watch with you at home. You've got, again, the best Absolutely. seat in the house. Chris Six, Kaha, Casey, we've got you covered. In fact, our folks are lined up all throughout the parade routes. We've got Stephanie Lauber out there. we got Taylor Alanis on our float on out our there. Float. We're yes. ready to bring it to you, folks. Absolutely, and the parade, we're gonna have a lot of folks that are gonna get started. You can see the people that have been camping out and some of them started, well, a lot of them <laughs> came here at five o'clock yesterday to get their spot, to claim their spot, yeah. and to spend the night and just have a really good time. This is all about family. This is all about celebrating the Coastal Bend. As you know, Buck Days started as Splash Days ah. as a way to bring in summer to Corpus Christi and welcome yes. people to come here to Corpus Christi, enjoy our beaches, and then eventually in transition into Buck Days. And now we are in the 84th year wow. of this parade. Going strong, for yes. sure. I know, Katya, this is near and dear to your heart and all of your hearts out there. And there's a special dedication that we want to pass along to you tonight as we begin the parade. Mr. Right. Connie LaRoe, right? Mr. Connie LaRoe, so uh, he was a, a buckerator, yep. and uh, they lost their oldest and one of their dearest members, and he just passed away a few weeks ago. Connie LaRoe joined the buckerators in 1960. Wow. In 1972, the buckerators honored Connie with his appointment as the parade marshal that year for that year's parade. Connie was one of a kind. Mm -hmm. They say he always had a smile on his face, and he always knew how to break the And day. here's the thing, too. I mean, you talk about longevity. Yeah. He was the longest-serving buckerator, 62 years of service. Yeah, that's, that's dedication. Years. Oh, that's dedication. You're right. Yeah. That's dedication right there. So in memory of Mr. LaRue's service yep. to the buckeraters and to the community, the buckeraters are dedicating this year's Buccaneer Days Navy Army Illuminated Night Parade to him. So let's kick it off in style in his memory, shall let's we? Let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. There you're seeing the beginning of the parade this year, folks, and the and the bright lights. You've got our our folks in the honor guard there, the color guard to begin things off, right? And uh, Stephanie Lauber is out in the crowds. If we have Stephanie near to maybe where the parade is coming near her, can we go see? and talk to her to see what she is seeing on the ground. Steph? All right, we're going to catch up we'll with catch Steph up in with just her. a little bit because, as you know, with a live production, yep. there's a lot of moving parts, and mm -hmm. Steph is moving to get somewhere to get that really good shot for all of you there at home who are watching. Making new friends. I mentioned about the color, the color guard there at leading off the parade. This is Boy Scouts Troop 3. And the, I am so impressed, Katya, with our young scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, those that learn at a young age about service to our community. And look at them, serving proud so far this morning. And there you see the Navy Army balloons along with them. Along with uh, them. As they're kicking off the parade. Do you know that the Boy Scout Troop 3 is actually over 100 years old? Wow. In fact, it was Miguel Furman, like named after well Furman Street that, mm -hmm. that we have. Uh, he was a doctor and he was actually a mayor here in Corpus Christi. And he was the first Eagle Scout in Corpus Christi. Wow. This is the oldest continuous troop in the state of Texas. The Boy Scout Troop Number Three. They definitely make us proud. And I'm watching them right now. And look, there's an extra little pep in their step, right? When they're marching and they're holding up the, those flags, right? The the Boy Scouts at the St Texas State flag, the, the American, American flag. flag. 
they're they're doing it proudly and their chests is up a little bit and they're like, yes, we're Absolutely. so proud to be leading so proud this parade. To be leading this yes. parade, of course, the Navy Army Night Parade balloons from <laughs> Navy Army, the proud sponsor of the Night Parade. Hey. It's great to see them later on in the evening. Those balloons really pop. It's great to hello hey Navy Army. Woo! How y'all doing? Hello, hello. They're all about community. They're all about supporting the military. Navy Army really is part of the community for so long, and they know what really can bring us joy. We want to check in now with our very own Taylor Alanis, who's on the Chris 6 KZ and Kaha float. Hey there, Taylor. I think... Hey, everyone. I'm here on our Buck Days float here at Chris 6 News, and I have everyone here. Come on, Bobby. Show us. We are so happy to be here. This is a chance for us to get out into the community. Out here on the parade route, you say hi to all of us. We're so excited to be on our pirate ship. We actually got third place for best media float. We're very excited about that. We got our float gear on. We're excited to be here. We want to see you wave to us. We have Chica's Rocks behind us. We got the Clydesdales. We got, I can't even tell you, there's been so many floats kind of passing by, but we're so excited to be here, of course. To show you, Chief show of you. Police Mike Markle and his lovely driver right there. Hey there, hey How Chief. Like? Hi Tammy. How you doing? Hi Tammy. Nice to and see you guys. Chief, right there. Thank you for everything that you do. Appreciate Go ahead and lead the much. parade, Chief. Thanks for your service. Thank Continue you for on, sir. Corpus Christi police officers are right there. They are starting the parade, They're leading the, the chief down the streets. Hey guys. Indeed. Hey guys, how you doing? And hey. right behind the police chief, we yes. have our fire chief. Chief Rocha, uh, hi Chief. Hey Chief, how's it hey, going? Hey, hey. how are you doing way. tonight? Nice, the, thank you, thank you for your service. Thanks thank for you all you so do. Thank you so much, Corpus Christi Fire Department. So proud, our finest who just go into the most dangerous situations. Yes. And they do it with so much pride and Obviously, we're grateful for them. You know, it's so important to recognize that. And, I, and, and what you say is so true, Katya. I mean, they run towards danger. Yeah. Right? They're trained, trained to save lives. And sometimes we tend to take some of these things for granted. Don't. Uh, because they do such a fine job, and they need to be saluted each and every day for sure. All right, Fire Chief Robert Rocha right there. And coming up next right now, we have our parade marshal. Yes, he's Fred Cano. Fred. Fred Cano is our parade marshal. He <laughs> is, let's see, he is so proud that's, to be a member of Buck Days. Look at, oh, that's the chief right there that we're seeing on there TV. We go. But yes. coming up next, hello, Fred Cano, who is our parade hey, Fred. marshal. How y'all doing tonight? Hello, how's it going? Such a great member yes, sir. of Buck Days. You having fun? Good deal. And right. our Buccaneer Commission president, we've got Phil Skabarczyk, done such great things for the Buccaneer Commission. It's great to see him. And who do we have coming up next? Oh, Miss Laura Berry. Yes, she, indeed. She is a staple in our community, Pat. Miss yeah. Laura Berry, let me tell you. Yes. She is an avid sportswoman. Hi, Hello, how are you? She's Hi, blowing kisses. That was meant right toward me. Oh, was that know. to you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Did you catch it? I did catch it. All right. Thank you, Miss Berry. And next to Miss Berry is... Oh, <laughs> State Representative Todd Hunter, look at that. You're not wearing black tonight. Where's You're your black? Gray. Man in black. <laughs> he was telling me this morning he on the radio sure round, the Veterans break. Radio Roundtable, it says, knowing you guys are probably going to go to commercial break right when, when I show up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and keeping things moving, look we've at got here. the mayor of Corpus Christi, Paulette Paulette Guajardo. Guajardo. Look, in a Ferrari, too. Woo, a beautiful red Ferrari. Hello. Hello. How's it going? We've got Councilman at Large John Martinez there that is coming up right here. We've got Michael Hunter, City Council at Large. What's Hello, going Michael on, Hunter. Everybody? Hello, Councilman. Yes, sir. Councilman District One, Mr. Billy Lerma. Hello, and his sir. Family. Hello, Th sir. It's great to see you. That's an awesome Jeep that they're in. I have a Jeep. That's a beautiful Jeep. What about this Wrangler right here with Councilman District Two, Ben Molina and his family? How about. <laughs> hey, Ben. <laughs> How y'all doing tonight? Woo! Fantastic. It's great to oh, see y'all. You what? 
You can hit a bubble that. Yeah, all those bubbles are headed bubbles. right into it. Yeah. And look at this young man right here with his family, a buckerator who had a chance to step off the parade route yes. and actually be a part of the parade. Councilman of District 3, Mr. Roland Barrera and his family. It's great to see you. Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. Greg Smith. All Who right. Who is Greg? Uh, well, we don't have Greg Smith. He didn't show up. Maybe he's, he's in the bluff. He's, he's somewhere in the bluff in somewhere. He's we got to go bluff. look for him. Okay, All right. we'll find him. Gil Hernandez, City Gil Council, Hernandez. District 5. We, well, we got to go look for him, too. He's in District 5 somewhere. <laughs> That's all right. We've got our city manager's family, the Zanoni, Zanoni. family right okay, here, hello, Lawanda folks. and one of her kids. Great to How see you doing? guys. And Peter Zanoni is out on business, of course, okay. but he's working. He's okay. a working man, so his family is here to represent. Yes, indeed. And uh, right now, who do we have here? Oh, There's, our oh, county look, judge, Barbara look, in the cowgirl hat. And look at this truck that she's in. I mean, this is like pro stuff. This is all military right here. The, hey, the high great to see water all. truck. This yes, is indeed. a great truck. And with the Buccaneer flag. How Buccaneer. about that? Yes, indeed. John Mata is city or county commissioner. Yep. Forgive me. Mr. John Modest, County Commissioner for Precinct 3. He is in this great Jeep as well. The family, great to see y'all. Okay, we have a theme of Jeeps here. So I hope y'all are concentrating on this because this, there's the sheriff right there. Hello, Sheriff. Sheriff, sheriff J.C. Hooper, great to see you. Thank you for the tip of the hat right there. And next up. We have our commander of CCAD. That's right. Colonel Joseph H. Parker. Hello, sir. How are you doing tonight? Colonel Parker, he took command in May of 2020, and we really appreciate everything he's doing at Corpus Christi Army Depot. How are you doing? This is uh, Colonel William Donnelly's vehicle right there. Colonel Donnelly, uh, of course, he is the uh, Marine Aviation Training Support Group 22 CO. And I've got to say a big hello to Captain Christopher Jason and his beautiful family right hey, there. Hey, folks. We, the boys are wearing matching shirts, <laughs> by the way. Hi, boys. Their boys are, let's see, one of them is 12, Desmond yep. is 12, Holden is 11, and of course his beautiful wife, and they are wonderful over there at NASCC. Hello, Captain. This is Captain Thomas Corsmo. He assumed Hello. command of NAS Kingsville. July 20th, 2020, we appreciate him and all of what they're doing so much. Absolutely, and of course, we have Captain Jeremy Rifas, the Commodore. Thank you so much for everything that you do, sir. He's the CEO of the Training Air Wing 4 around here. Hey, gang, how y'all doing? Look, I love the military. Can you tell? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> We've got the Thomas Swift right here. Yes. Hey, nice to see you guys. Really, really appreciate you. Captain Jason Gunny out there with the U.S. Coast Guard. Currently the Deputy Sector Commander of the Coast Guard Sector Air Station Corpus Christi. It's so great to see our military showing a presence. Mm -hmm. They've been, uh, they were at, you know, on Thursday, they were yep. here for the starting of the ceremonies. And they really are, obviously, they're so involved in our community. And we thank them for their service and for leading such big, the bases that we have yes. here in our community. It's wonderful to see. You feel secure, don't you? To see all of these commands around here, whether it be Marines, Army, Navy, you name it, Coast Guard, they're right here protecting us, folks. You know that uh, we, I, I think we saw him, Mr. Westendorf, and he oversees the Blue Angels That's and correct. the training of all the pilots in the Navy, and he is right here in Corpus Christi. And right now, we are getting a look at some pretty souped-up Jeeps. This is awesome. Boy. It says, surrender the booty. Surrender the booty. <laughs> These folks are getting into hey, the guys. holiday spirit, of course, of Buck Days. Because the Buccaneers took over town, right? Absolutely, That's yes. That's what happened. Yes, the Pirates took over the town. Jean Lafitte, you know, Jean the Lafitte. story goes that... They took over the waters here in Corpus Christi, and yes. so whenever the mayor walks the plank, obviously it's from when the pirates were and here. So they're in control for how long? They're in control until next Sunday. Till next Sunday. That's right. All so right. we better dress like pirates. A lot, lot of pirates. A lot of pirates. Hey, folks. <laughs> Pink flamingo. <laughs> the straight Stutton... In Car Club, yeah. they're a family-operated organization to show family and friends their love of cars and the love of Jeeps. Yeah, and they want to prove that there is more to life than just work or being on the streets, right? And you could tell just, and look how beautiful these vehicles are. You're and a Jeep owner. I am, yeah. and I got to tell you, speaking for myself and so many other Jeep owners, 
look, they get you out of so many messes that you get yourself into, but they're wonderful vehicles, and uh, it's just great to see this whole lineup of all these different varieties of Jeeps and uh, they're, oh, they're doing it up in style. Every time you? that you see a, another Jeep driver when you pass each other, don't y'all like wave? We wave. And you have, yeah. It's a special thing. It's a, and by the way, I went to a, a, a restaurant. Well, it was a drive through restaurant one day. I think I might have told you the story. Someone in a Jeep was in front of me, and they paid for no, my meal. No, I don't think you They did. That. They said, it's a Jeep thing. Oh. It's a Jeep thing. I need to start that with the Broncos. You Come should. on, guys. Let's yeah. let's get into I think we do wave, though. So I think we've taken that from the, oh. from the Jeep world. Oh, did you? And we've got one of the first official floats, I would okay. say, right? That is coming up here. And look, this is the Navy, Navy Army, Army Community Credit Union yeah. float. Hello, Navy Army. Even though they had the balloons in the beginning, we've yes. got Navy Army with their official float checking savings and loans they are tonight's Thanks. presenting sponsor of the buck days night parade yeah navy army the fifth largest credit union in texas headquartered right here in corpus christi they have 19 locations from vville to brownville employing over 750 south texans i tell you what that flowed really you can tell that there was a lot of work and they also had a treasure chest. Did you see nice. that? That it was overflowing. It. Okay. They're a longtime community partner, of course. They support nonprofits with a mission in health and education with a particular interest, of course, in South Texas. All right. This broadcast of Buck Day's Navy Army Night Parade, sponsored by Navy Army Community Credit Union. We'll be right back. 